Hi everyone, uh, welcome to Masai School. Uh, we are a 21st century career focused coding school. Uh, my name is Amanwats. I'm an engineering graduate from Birla Institute of Technology, Misra. Uh, I lead the data structures and algorithm curriculum at Masai School. So uh, let me tell you about this video series. <clears throat> Uh, in this video series, we'll be introduced to uh, computer programming. Uh, you will learn how to write basic computer programs. You will learn the basic constructs of a computer program. That is uh, data types of variables, conditional statement, loops, functions, everything. And you will be learning this in Python. All right. So <clears throat> this is a very fundamental uh, uh, video to, you know, getting started with computer programming in Python and uh, this video series is actually a part of the pre-course uh, for the full stack developer program at Mass High School. And now we have decided to, you know, make this course available for all aspiring programmers. So we really hope that it helps you in getting started with computer programming and in Python. So happy coding. Thank you so much. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, in the last segment, we looked at, uh, we looked about the comparison operators uh, in which, uh, it returns true or false. That is, it returns a Boolean output based on whether the comparison is true or not. Just to recap, so for example, if I'm writing five greater than three, it returns false because this comparison is incorrect. Five is not greater than three. Similarly, I mean, we looked at different types of comparison operators. In this particular segment, we'll be looking at logical operators or let's say Boolean operators. It is also called as Boolean operators. Okay. So in this particular logical operators, uh, so it also returns, I mean, it also gives Boolean output. Okay. It also gives Boolean output like the comparison operator used to give. <coughs> Sorry. It also gives Boolean output like comparison operator used to give, but it also performs some logical operation in order to get there. For example, what I'm trying to say is there are three different types of logical operator. So don't worry if the, it does not make sense on the first go. We'll go through some examples and we'll try to understand it from that as well. All right. So it might not make a sense in the first go. So let's understand this. So there are three logical operators or Boolean operator. So suppose if I say uh, five greater than three and six greater than four. Okay. So in this, this returns true or false based on multiple comparison operator. Okay. So this, this particular logical operator returns true. If, if both the conditions, the condition on the left of it and the condition on the right of it, both are true, then it returns true. So let's see in this example. So five greater than three is a comparison operator that returns true. Six greater than four. Yes, it is. So it returns true. So this particular entire example would return true because both these operators are both these comparison operators are returning true. Similarly, suppose you have five greater than three and one greater than two. Now what's happening in this case is in this case, five greater than three is true, but one greater than two, this is false. Okay. So since both are not true, this particular this entire logical operator would return false. Okay. So in this particular case, I mean, this particular logical operator returns true. If the comparison operator on left of it and the comparison operator on right of it, both are true. Okay. So we'll, we'll soon look at it, how to do it in Python, but conceptually let's try to understand this. So yeah. If I just show you, so we'll look at these two after, after we, that we are done with and. So let's look at some more details about and. So yeah, so based on what I just mentioned, you can have a chart, uh, a chart like this. So, and works like this. So suppose there are two operators, A on the left of and and B on the right of and. So the output. So if A is true, B is true, output will be true. If A is true, B is false, output will be false. If A is false, B is true, output will be false. If A is false, B is false, output will be false. So we looked at all the four possibilities of what 
whatever that can happen on the left and right of end okay so uh, i'll i'll wrap this particular logical operator so what i'm suggesting is in a and logical operator this this is a logical operator that returns true if the comparison or if the boolean variable in the left of and and right of and both are true okay so if this is true this is true then only this entire thing returns true okay otherwise it returns false okay so i hope this is clear by now so let's take one more example so suppose i write 5 greater than 3 and 7 greater than 0 so this is true because this thing is is correct 5 is greater than true 3 and 7 is greater than 0 so this thing is also true so this entire thing is true because both the sides of the and left side and the right side both are true so this particular thing returns true in general all right so now let's have a look at or operator the second logical operator or operator okay so what or does is so or returns true if either of the left side or the right side is true okay so for example so what i will take seven greater than five or two greater than five okay so you know if if i perform comparison operator on this seven greater than five it's true two greater than five it's false but this particular thing would return true okay because as per the definition of our operator as per the definition of this or operator or operator returns true or uh, results in a true or false a binary result if either of the two halves of it are true okay so similarly if i make the left half as a b as the right half then output then i can say suppose a is true b is true a is true b is false a is false b is true and both are false so the output in the first case would be true the output in second case would be true the output in third case would be true the output in fourth case would be false okay because in this case both the operators are true in this case left one is true which implies that either one of these is true because this is true so it would return in true similarly in this case this would return true so true in this case none of both the sides is true so it becomes false so let's look at some examples so and let's look at some examples so suppose i say um, <clears throat> two so i hope everyone remembers that this is two cube is equal equal to 100 modulus so like 108 modulus 100 or false okay so let's see what this half returns so this half is this half is checking if 2 cube is equal to is equal to 108 modulus 8 so it would be 8 2 cube is 8 so is 8 equal to equal to 8 yes it's true so this particular thing is true or false so true or false will return true okay so this is second logical operator or operator i would recap it so or operator returns true if either of the left half or the right half of the logical operator is true okay let's look at third example a not operator so a not operator is i mean a not operator directly reverses whatever is written uh, after it so basically not true means false so it just switches i mean switches the the logical operator okay so if there is true it would make false if there's false it would make true okay so let's let, let's let's see what it so if i write not three is e greater than two so it returns false okay why because this thing is true and this particular operator just reverses whatever the result of right of its right is so the right is saying true so applying not before it makes it false so suppose i say not 5 is equal to is equal to 6 so 
so this particular thing would result in i mean this particular thing would print uh, because this thing is false so this it will print true okay so we have seen a three logical operator what these logical operators do is basically they they somehow logically take a decision based on different boolean variables okay based on multiple boolean output it takes a decision okay let's see how to be programmatically or or how to be implemented in python this was the conceptual understanding let's see how do we do it in python okay so we are here so suppose i write answer is equal to five greater than four and six greater than three okay let's print answer so what should it do guys uh, I mean, I'll, I'll request you to pause for a second and think about what it should print. So logically, five is greater than four. So this part is true. Six is greater than three. So this part is true. So both true, it should print true. Let's see. Yeah, it does print true. Okay. It does print true. True. Okay. Let's do one more thing. So let's say, let's say I've written five greater than four and I've written here two greater than three. So it should print false because the left side of and is true, but right side of and is false. So it should print false because as we just studied and condition returns true if both the conditions are true. So yes, it did return and it did print false. Okay, let's look at one more thing. So let's say 100. Uh, 100 to the power two is greater than thousand and 10 is less than 12. Okay. So let's see what is output. Let's see what is its output. It printed two. Why? Because 100 raised to the power two is 10,000, which is greater than thousand. So the left part is true. And the right part is also true because 12 is indeed greater than 10. So ultimately it prints true. Okay. Let's let's put or condition here. So putting or condition, let's see what it does in this case. So it did print true. Okay. Because or definitely relies on both. I mean, in case both of these are true, but or it gives you true even if one is true. All right. So let's check some more example of or. So answer is equal to. So let's directly put true or false. So let's print as. Let's clear this. Yes, it did print true because either of this is true. It will print true. Let's make this false. It should print false in this case because it printed false. Okay. So let's now see what does not operator do so if i put not not two greater than zero so what should it print guys it should print false because this thing is true but if there is a not before it so not true becomes false so yeah it does print false okay let's make it five so it should print true because two greater than five no it's not correct so it's false okay so continuing with that so not two greater than five this thing is false but followed by not it just reverses its value so it becomes it should become true let's see yeah. it does become true okay so yeah i believe that's pretty much it that i wanted to cover in this app yeah there is one more thing that i wanted to cover so <clears throat> so like all the like arithmetic calculations uh, boolean operators are not just evaluated from left to right i mean uh, uh yeah so i mean uh, same, this thing same thing happens with arithmetic operator so there is an order of operations for boolean operator like i'll write the uh, i'll write the how is it done so i'll write in con con comment format not is evaluated first 
and is evaluated next and last or is evaluated last so let me give you example of what i'm trying to say let's let's erase this let's yeah let's look at some examples what i was trying to say so suppose i say answer is equal to false or not true and true okay so what should be the value of ends? Let's print ends. Okay. Let's clear this. Let's try to run this. So it's printed false. I mean, we could have also argued it. So how is it done? Not is evaluated first. Okay. So not true. This thing becomes false. First of all. So uh, if I'm just, if I may just write down what it has become. So it will become false or false and true okay so first of all this thing got evaluated and not true it became false next what has happened what 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 is the priority and is evaluated next so now in the next step this thing will be evaluated last false and true so this would become in the next step it would become false or so false and true is false because there is and operator which returns true only when both the sides are true, which is not the case here. So it would return false. And false or false will return false. So in the next step, it will become false. So this particular thing, therefore answer is returning false. Okay. So following this rule, we can see exactly how will the logical operator evaluate the result. So let's say one more example. Let's take one more example for this. So if I write, not true or false and not true so let's first try to analyze what should be the output then we'll print it so let's see how what will happen so first of all not will get evaluated right so in the next statement i mean uh, so let's analyze this so this would become false because this is not true so false rest or would remain same false and so in this in this step we are just evaluating the not so this would become false okay then we will evaluate and only so false and false becomes false so false or false so this should also result in false so let's run this code yeah it does print false okay so yeah but if you want some part of your code to be evaluated first of all irrespective of this rule you can put it in bracket to give it a priority. For example, suppose you want this part to be evaluated first. This part to evaluate it first. So what would happen? This part would get evaluated first and then it would get evaluated with others. All right. So just to wrap things up, let me let us recall what we discussed in this part of the of the course. So in this part, we just looked at what are the logical operators? How does this work? So there are three logical operator and operator or operator not operator okay so they logically take a decision based on the boolean weight values okay so yeah that's pretty much it uh let's uh, that's pretty much it in this session let's let's meet in the next round thank you